Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and make you feel good. So I'm late, hopping on the bandwagon. I'm so late. It is already July. Like we're, we are mid July actually. So I just want to put out some of the best of the best that I either have received or purchased this year thus far. Okay. And just chit chat a little bit about them and go from there. So I've seen several people do this video basically in the beginning of July <laughs> when they talked about the fragrances that they're liking and loving or they feel that they are the best of thus far when it comes to um, this year, 2023. So, 2023, <laughs> baby, 2023, like it's already here. It's crazy. These are fairly new to my collection. I already know. It's a banger. Okay, so let's just get started with a fragrance oil. So this is from the Scent for You. I buy these oils often. I would say once every so many months, I just purchase oils. I don't even haul them anymore. I use them in my outer shower, out of shower body oils that I make. So I make a oil combination with like almond oil, shea nut butter oil, or it's called shea nut oil, jojoba oil, and vitamin E. And then sometimes every once in a while I add avocado oil or like the coconut oil. And I just use it when I get out the tub or the shower immediately. I don't dry off. That's my like my lock-in moisture oil that I make for myself. And sometimes I will add scents to them. Especially like in the winter. I really like adding scents. But this one right here I added recently. I would say about a month or so ago. So much so I like I loved it that I went and ordered another one. So I have several more of these. I ended up ordering three more. And this is YSL leave intense this is good so i don't use the roller ball i know some of y'all don't like this packaging i just take the roller ball off and just like put some in my hand with like lotion or oil or something when i'm just putting it on my body or if i'm pouring it into a oil the bottles i make are eight ounces i just pour it in there honey i was excited about this when i got this even though i don't like the bottles the bottles are so hideous to me and i have to say it was almost a toss-up between yara this pink bottle and then the black bottle, which I forget the name, it is inspired by Sauvage. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So that's that's basically most times my bedroom scent. I literally get up in the morning, you know, get myself up and I make up my bed and that's the scent I spray like in the air and like along my sheets and I love it. But anyway, this is the scent I actually wear and have worn several times. So I'm going to pull Yara out. I enjoy this one over the white bottle. Have not experienced the yellow, orange-ish colored bottle yet. I probably will just go ahead and purchase it. At first, I was like, why is it $40? Like, yeah, all the rest of these are like $20, $25, $26. Why? But who knows? I'll just purchase it and see how I feel about it. But although this can come off, I, I just still don't. Yeah, I just don't like the shape of the bottle. I don't know why. And they're so freaking heavy. But it's a really good fragrance. It's beautiful. It's sweet. It is like creamy, creamy fruits. Like a fruit with cream. I can't describe it, but like berries and cream. A fruits and cream. Very pretty. I enjoy this fragrance. And so for that reason, it is on my list of one of the best buys so far. When it comes to price, the scent itself and longevity. I mean, like... <laughs> Come on, Latafa. I'm, I don't know. Latafa's just doing it, all right? Let's just stick with Latafa right, for right now. So this is Sublime, and this is Body Oil. Ooh, and I'm loving this fragrance. This is very strongly of a fruit fragrance. There's another one of those, like, fruit and creams for me with heavy on the musk, and it's so good. And it just smells like a dessert. Every time I smell it, I tell y'all strawberries and cream. I see cheesecake, right? I see strawberries and cream. But I see other berries and beautiful, like, juicy, mouth-watering fruits. This is so good, but yet has a creamy creaminess or a cream texture to it. I love this fragrance. So, yeah. It was so cheap. <laughs> I mean, it's like 40 bucks probably for this bottle. And this bottle is heavy. Let's just see the packaging. It's what it looks like. Body Aoud. I don't think it's actually duping anything. So, yeah. For the price point, the scent of the fragrance, and this time of year is perfect for their fragrance. Definitely had to make this list. All right. So, this next fragrance was actually sent to me through a sponsorship deal I did on my main vlog channel. And this is from the House of Oud. But since Angel actually sent this to me, they have 
where you can buy like samples, you can buy five mils or 10 mil decant, you can actually buy the fragrance and often they will have the testers on site too that you can purchase, even though my sticker says do not sell, okay, <laughs> on the back. But this is Almond Harmony and this took me by storm because I have been so into, I gotta get to the cosmetic company store. I gotta look up and find this fragrance, Killing Black Phantom. I need the whole bottle, the, the little travel spray. I mean, it did me good, but I need the whole, I need that almond. And then when I smelled this almond and thought, mmm, it's that same clean, crisp almond. Doesn't smell alike, but they had that note in it that just mm, brings me so much joy. I was so excited to receive this. So still, Still a beauty. Still a beauty. It's very, you have to like almond and you have to enjoy like the scent of iris and those beautiful purple like flowers to enjoy this. Cause it's like a clean almond with very beautiful powdery notes. So yeah, definitely had to make the list. I'm okay with the egg bottles. I think the eggs are okay. I'm not huge on a bunch of like knickknack decor or colors. I'm not huge on colors. I really enjoy Clear, very straight line bottles. I really don't like rounded shape bottles, but this one's okay. I can deal with it. And the fragrance is beautiful. So for that reason, that curved my appetite for Phantom. So now I can kind of be like, okay, I wait to try to get you during the winter because I can enjoy this one right now. This one is Baby. Now this is not the bottle that your fragrance will come in if you decide to buy a fragrance from the house of, what is it? I was gonna say Kofi. It's Kai Fragrances. I did a whole little review on their 90 fragrance line. They had a discovery set that came out where you can where you can test and sniff. I think it was 13 fragrances in that box. But this one right here was actually sent to me in PR and this is Baby. So once again, Baby. I have worn this several times. I don't know what it is. So at the top, it kind of reminds me of like a method cleaner, like a lemon method cleaner. Like when a, when a cleaner that you use in your home is clean ingredients type of cleaner. It's not the chemical kind, right? That's how sharp this lemon comes off, but when it dries down, this is one of those fragrances that take about a good 10, 12 minutes to get to where it's supposed to be. You're gonna experience the fragrance. I've learned this in trying out his fragrances and wearing them that, yes, you get something at the top, yes, then something else comes through, then something else, and you're like, is this still changing? I feel like the fragrances are all just beautiful experiences of, having your nose switch from this to this to that but when it dries down it's a beautiful powdery feminine soft like fragrance like smelling out the nozzle i just smell the top you would never know what this smell like until you put this on your skin and let it dry down and the more i wear it the more i enjoy it so i've had this for what a week or two i don't know two weeks now and i've worn this several times it's like a no-brainer like everyday fluff Everyday citrus, powdery, feminine fluff, like that kind of scent. I don't think everybody would enjoy the top. I think once it gets to gets away from that top within the first two, three minutes, it goes into something else. I think people will enjoy that. And then it travels through this powderiness with the citrus just trolling with it, but the dry down. I think people would really enjoy the dry down. If you allow yourself to enjoy the experience of the journey of this fragrance, most women will like this fragrance. I'll say it like that. All right, so this one is Damascena, and this is from Sphinx, Fra Sphinx Fragrance. I cannot say the word. Okay, whatever. And I really like this fragrance. It's a beautiful rose fragrance, but it's good. It is good, y'all. It's not your granny rose. This is good. This is very pretty, very feminine, and sweet, evidently. So yeah, I need to go ahead and just order the bottle because this, this is not going to last me. I actually put this in my purse. My purse rate right for the week is Friday. <laughs> like, I'm surprised it still has something in it. This is really good and beautiful and soft and feminine and and brunch, day day. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is good. This brings a smile upon my face. Now, let's just stay with Sphinx. So I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful fragrances thus far this year. It's probably going to be in the top five for this year if I can get the bottle. Okay, it's Wood of Gods. And it's from Sphinx Fragrance. Sphinx Fragrance. And this is so good. 
This is that beautiful rose oud combo that we all like and love. However, if you take out the sticky, icky sugar part of it and replace it with saffron and mint, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, this is different. This is different. This is very different for me. It's almost like clean different, like clean. Yeah, this is beautiful. And, and like I said before, if you did not enjoy the experience or of Shagaf Oud and it was too heavy, too syrupy, too sweet, too dense, you might enjoy the refreshing, more cooling aspect of this. It still has the sweetness and it still has that rose oud, but it's the mint. It's the mint in here that does it for me. I love this. So I would definitely recommend that to women who like fragrances that are unisex leaning tad bit masculine and men who like that mint refreshing greenness and saffron girl the ooh and rose though this year out of the fragrances i picked up when it came to swiss arabians oils i really enjoyed this one so this one is called yulali and it's like a fruity floral fragrance it's the oil though this is what the bottle looks like yeah, I love these bottles. You can see the oil kind of like dropper on the inside, but these are beautiful bottles. And I like this one because they went with a different design on the front. It's still a floral like the rest of them, but they kind of went a little different with this bottle. And I like this bottle and I like the scent inside of it. And every time I see it, I kind of sit it out on my dresser sometimes. Sometimes I sit it on my vanity in my bathroom. I just really like this beautiful bottle and the scent definitely lasts about a good five hours on me and that's with me literally just taking this and doing this and not you know doing too much with it and it, it lasts on me and every once in a while I can just kind of like smell myself oh this is so fruity and so pretty so definitely check this out these are so cheap they just had these on Amazon's like prime it was like 20 bucks or 17 bucks I know Jama shop normally keeps them from 18 to 22 dollars so yeah, definitely check them out. That's a good one. Let's bring out this sexy beast. <laughs> Listen, when I got this, I was like, oh, okay, so we do bring in this show, you know, Atomic Rose, but I never, I don't have Atomic Rose, okay? Just put that out there. I don't have it, but I got her. And this is good enough for me. So this is Infinity Rose. Oh my goodness, this is good. So this is from the Maison Alhambra line, and yeah, this is another one of those dark, sexy rose fragrance. You have to like rose, and you have to like the darkness of like, like a heavy musk, a heavy wood, sound of wood, not sound of wood, but like a heavier wood. And like saffron, I don't know if saffron's in here. Oh, I forgot to scratch my arm right here. Ooh, this smells so good. This smells so good. I've already worn this several times, even in the heat of the day. I just really enjoy this scent, even though I think it's more of a winter, darker type of scent, maybe even fall, or maybe you're just in a cooler climate type of place for this scent. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful fragrance. So after reading all of the comments on a particular page, I watched a video and seeing what others were saying i decided not to buy amethyst from the top of because they basically said they smell like and i was like well no need to have the same thing twice so that's why i didn't ever go back to do amethyst even though i would like it as a collection to collect the whole you know line from the top of but this did this did it so i don't know if this is i don't know where this is available right now my mind just went blank I can't even tell you what I got it from. Probably Amazon. I'm so for sure. Yeah, this is good. This is sexy. So if Initio's Atomic Rose smells like that, or if this smells like Initio's Atomic Rose, anywhere near it, I already know what y'all did with. Y'all did with a beautiful beast, okay? Let's put out this bottle right here. This is Radiolancer from Willow Main, and this was gifted to me from Twisted Lily. Y'all, this is beautiful. 
this is just a beautiful floral fragrance this is like a mom scent and mother's day fragrance this is like a more mature and aged woman's birthday gift this is your 50th birthday gift this is your class in a bottle this is money that's been inherited money like this is money passed down money not new money like this been here a while just reminds me of walking up to a chanel counter the feeling you get of all things chanel right this kind of reminds me of that but it's wilgermain and it's just elegance in this class yes girl like it don't feel like aldi <laughs> and trader joe's and walmart <laughs> It feels like, you know, brunch with the girls and sipping on little, you know, teas and, you know, all things fancy and brunch. This is beautiful. It's not your waffle and chicken brunch, though, okay? Mm -mm. It's a strawberry vinegar salad lunch with a cup of tea. This is so pretty. Oh, this is going to be around for years to come. That is going to be around for years to come. That's a fragrance that you grow old with, like you experience and... Yeah, that's the fragrance you create memories with. That is good, okay? Every time I move my arm, I keep smelling this in Fendi Rose. All right, so I have two left to share with you all, and it's not going to be anything that you're not going to be surprised about, okay? Listen, these two are beautiful. So which one should we go with first? Let's go with, I don't know which one. Like, if it was the end of the year right now, and I had to tell you that, this is like the fragrance of the year it would be like these two and it's so crazy because one is 200 and something dollars and one is like 60. <laughs> one is beautiful feminine and you know all the things soft life and the other one is like <laughs> come get it okay let's come get it first all right so we're going to talk about our moth club date and we and this is imperial this is a beautiful sexy sleigh <laughs> Your grown woman slay. Yeah, this is. I had to put this up. I had to literally take this off my counter and put it up because every time I would go to the tray, I would say, "Okay, let me just wear this. Oh, let me wear this with this. Okay, let me wear this." Or I would spray something and be like, "Well, I wonder what it smell like if I spray this on top." Yeah, I had to stop. This is sexy. This is good. This is that beautiful. Don't need that exclusive on steroids. <laughs> I don't know. This is good. This is sexy. Everybody I know who's gotten this beautiful iridescent bottle. I'm going to call it beautiful. You know, I think the little dice on top is so tacky. It just reminds me of the little ghetto dice. In the, uh, it just reminds me of the dice hanging in the windshield, girl. Just back in the day, you know, old school. With it, when my daddy used to have them dice. <laughs> anyway, I love this fragrance. Y'all, first of all, the bottle is extremely heavy. It is has the imprint of the company name, has this huge block of a top. It's, I mean, it's heavy. So I guess it's worth all the juice. It's worth all the money. I love it. Imperial. Imperial. Just, if you don't have it, go get it. Just go get it. Just go get it, girl. <laughs> just go, just do it. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, this is beautiful. This was gifted to me in in collaboration with a sponsorship, right? I have a sponsorship idea on the other channel, and it is Royal Musk. This is beautiful from M. Mikolov. I don't know what it is. I think it's the whole combination of the bottle, the juice inside, reading about the company and the fragrances and the design behind the bottles and learning about all their artistry. This is just... Yeah, this is so beautiful. And this could be a signature scent. Definitely. This could definitely be a grown woman's signature scent. A mature, and it's not age. This is just a mature elegance. This could be a 30-year-old boss who knows, you know, who's very feminine. And, yeah, and loves a beautiful, lightly floral musk fragrance. It has some powdery notes in here too. It's very pretty. And it just kind of screams. Um, yeah, it almost reminds me almost like a, a mom, but not like the soccer mom, right? <laughs> I mean, she might be a PTO mom, but she contributes with her checkbook, right? That type of mom. Do we do checkbooks? We don't do, I don't do checkbooks. My sister still does. But I was going to say she contributes with Zelle. Okay? 
Yeah, this is beautiful. I love it. She's not going to really be hands-on. She's not handing out pizza at the PTO meeting and the little get-togethers and, you know, game night at the school. But she'll throw you some coins and make sure that the nanny shows up to help out. All right? That is it for the fragrances for the first half of the year that I have thoroughly enjoyed, that I'm still enjoying and experiencing. Actually, I'm missing one. It was one that I wanted to talk to y'all about. I... Yeah, I cannot not talk about this. I miss the fragrance. Totally miss the fragrance. It's sitting in front of me because these bottles look alike. I just automatically assume I already talked about it. So, I wore this fragrance the other day and I wore it last week. And I kind of wanted to experience it. And then when I wore it, I thought, oh, okay. And it was hot outside. And it just kept blossoming into more orange blossom. It started off orange, like juice, like, like straight orange juice then orange peel and then zest and then orange blossom and then these powdery notes came through and I was like what is going on is it because I'm outside my body's heating up I would just kind of catch whiffs on myself I'm in Ross and a lady comes to me and is like oh my goodness you smell so pretty and I was like yeah it's this new fragrance I'm trying out I'm trying to explain to her like you can't just go in the store and go get this but this is what it is you can follow him here goes his IG or whatever. So I'm explaining to her that it's called No Ordinary Love and it is based off of the feeling he gets when he hears this song that Sade sings, right? And I told her, and I also said this and uploaded this on Instagram, that it just reminds me the more I wear it of that beautiful, sultry voice. This woman, and she's wearing white, and she's singing and it's all about love and it's, and it's embracing love right but she has this flower headband and it is the ones with the orange blossom and she just smells of beautiful like powdery florals and it's a beautiful fragrance and it's just love when i think of orange blossom orange blossom just reminds me of like all things spring and and bright and cheery and i don't know i just love orange blossom most women like orange blossom i think in a scent it brings that beautiful sweetness yet a nice floor that's not so sharp most of the time like your tuberose and your gardenia or magnolia it's very different it's people tend to like it more so i was like i think i like this and i there's others i like more than this in that line but i think i like this so this is a beautiful um orange blossom fragrance it's no ordinary love definitely it's in that kit the 90s kit, but when you first spray it, it reminds me of old English, like the cleaner I clean all my wooden stuff with here, my bookshelves. And it's only for like 10, 15 seconds. That's how strong and potent this orange is in here. That's why I say it goes from orange, orange juice, the peel, the zest, the blossom. It's like it's in reverse, if it makes sense to you, right? I like this. So. Orange Blossom Lover's Dream. You have to like Orange Blossom to enjoy that fragrance. Of course, you know, it's in a lot of scents and we're, yeah, but that's good. It's not like it's very unique. It's just the way the scent transpires while it's on my skin as it gets down to its dry down. That's what I am intrigued about. I really like this. So, all right, so now I'm done for real. Okay, so that's it. I smell so good. <laughs> I smell so good. All right, so I hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to get in on some of the good buys that was going on on Amazon for Prime Day. If you were not able to hop in and purchase anything, no worries. I did see yesterday on Joma Shop. Uh, they, listen, Joma Shop gonna run a sale. <laughs> Joma Shop is going to run a sale. Like, don't think you have to get it today. Like, if you missed out and you're one of those people like those bond number nines or the parfums to Molly. Don't worry about it. They're going to run another 40% off sale. Just, they did one for Zerdrop just the other day. So just mark my words. Just head on over to Jump Shop. Or you can click the link down below and see if they have anything like decent enough price where you want to purchase from Amazon. I'll put that link down below. But also check out fragranceby.ca. 
And if you just want to get your hands on some samples of some beautiful niche hard to find fragrances or niche hard to find when it comes to sampling, you can definitely always go to Twisted Lily, twistedlily.com. You can use my coupon code HelenH10 to save you, you know, a few coins. And then if you want to go to Scents Angel and just buy you a couple of decants of some fragrances that are like, whoo, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. Go do that. <laughs> Cause baby, I, I yeah, blind buying is one thing under like 150 and under. We get over 150. I'm like, I need to smell you first. Okay. So I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you all who have come over and subscribed recently. I see you. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Peace and blessings.